Hi everyone and welcome to this new video where I'm going to explain how to create your own electronic drum kit for really cheap. The core of the system is based on aerodrums. For those of you who don't know what aerodrum is, please check out the link below. I recently made a complete test of it. Long story short, aerodrums is an air drumming system. It allows you to play drums in the air thanks to sensors on your sticks and on your feet. A camera plugged to your computer is filming you while you play. And a software is triggering in real-time drum samples. It's really realistic. So I use aerodrums and adapt it to solid surfaces to get a more realistic feel. Just like if I were playing on an electronic drum kit. You're gonna need the aerodrum pack, which is around $160, plus a PlayStation Eye camera which is $9, so the whole package is around $170. Then a pair of Tama Silent Tip, those are kind of rubber sockets you fit on your sticks, it's around $3. Four pads. The average price for basic pads is around $25 each. You're going to need four of them, so four pads is about $100. A cowbell pedal mounting system, to attach a cowbell or a pad on it. Price is around $45. And a safety jacket, the kind of vest you use when you have to pull over and being seen by other drivers. The total is around $320 for the whole kit, so it's really cheap. Let me explain you how to make it work. First of all, get your safety vest and tear off a piece of the reflective stripe. Then, on the non-reflective side, put on some double-sided tape. Cut many really thin stripes, around 2 mm each. Take your silent tips, put them on your pair of sticks. Then, tape those thin reflective stripes on the socket. Tips need to be completely covered by the reflective matter. Those are actually the exact copy of the original aerodrum sticks sold with the package. But you can't use them as they're too fragile to be played on a solid surface. But now, with your new homemade reflective sticks, you're good to go. The camera setup is really important to make sure both feet and sticks sensors can be detected by the camera. A good setup is to place the camera one meter from your kick pedal and about the same distance for the camera height. I'm using a music stand to hold it. The camera is more or less facing the snare drum. Make sure the camera is angled enough to detect the pedals. Ok, maintenant on va parler des pédales. Donc pour la grosse caisse, plutôt que d'utiliser le système vendu avec Aerodrums, instead of using the Aerodrums foot sensor, which is a mere piece of foam you put on your foot, I took another piece of reflecting matter from the safety vest and taped it on my kick pedal. It's better to tape it on the lowest point of the batter. If you fix it too high, it's going to be too sensitive and will trigger samples on every slight move of the pedal. I'm using a cowbell that I muted, but if you have a pad that can be adapted to the mounting system, it's definitely better and it will give you a better realistic feel when playing. 
For the hi-hat pedal, I have muted my cymbals too. You can use whatever you have, such as carpet leftovers, t-shirts or cymbal mute-off rubber pads. In this case, you just need to put on the Aerodrum's foot sensors. Camera will detect it without problems. Now let's talk about the pads. Here is the best setup. A snare drum, a rack tom and floor tom. Keep in mind that the camera needs space to detect the sensors on your sticks. If you place more pads just before the snare drum, the camera won't be able to detect the sensors anymore. Always keep free space before each pad, same thing for the rack tom. Make sure it doesn't block the detection of the floor tom. Try to keep this set up and it should work. Also, try to keep a flat pad position, otherwise your sensors won't be detected by the camera. Use your own symbols. Or better, give a second life to your broken cymbals. I've muted them as well. The position here is the same as for the pad. Make sure to angle the cymbal in a fashion that the camera can track your sensors at all times. Same thing for the crash cymbal. Uh, qui